just Bernard Butler, Jesse Buckley, and that was Catch the Dust. Thank you for listening. Jamie's up next. Enjoy. It is Radio 2 on BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at nine o'clock. This is Anthony Birchley. Sir Keir Starmer has used his speech at the Labour conference in Liverpool to pledge to build a fairer, greener and more dynamic society. He announced plans to create a publicly renewable energy company if he became Prime Minister and accused the government of losing control of the British economy. The Shadow Minister, Jess Phillips, was positive Labour could win the next election. I was going to say if, but I feel like when the Labour Party wins the next election, we are going to fa- we are going to be facing an incredibly difficult situation because the Conservative government have basically broken every single service and we have to be realistic about what the future holds. But do you know what I feel today for the first time ever? I feel about hope for the future. The MP, Rupa Huck, says she's apologised to the Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng for describing him as superficially black. She made the comments at a fringe event at the Labour conference and was subsequently suspended from the Parliamentary Party. The Bank of England has hinted at a substantial hike in interest rates in response to the economic turmoil triggered by the government's mini-